Evaluation of emulsion. Organoleptic characteristics such as color, odor, phase separation or creaming. pH. pH of emulsion should be within specified limit. For official product pH limit is specified in pharmacopoeia. For non-official product pH limit is decided in pre-formulation stage. Zeta potential. Because of certain zeta potential values, the oil droplets in an emulsion are aligned at a sufficient distance are between them. Because of electrical charge on the surface, these oil globules repulse each other, that's why sufficient distance is maintained between these two droplets. These prevent coalescence and subsequent breaking of the emulsion. Electrical conductivity In order to measure electric conductivity, platinum electrodes are used. The distance between these two electrodes is kept about 4 mm and the current of about 15 to 50 microampere is applied to the emulsion. In case of weight in oil emulsion, conductance will not be observed because oil is the poor conductor of electricity. During storage if conductance is observed, then it indicates that coalescence has been started. In the case of oil and water emulsion, conductance is observed and there is less resistance because water is good conductor of electricity. During storage if resistance is increased, it indicates that coalescence or phase separation process has been started and it indicates instability in emulsion. Droplet size and droplet number, it is determined by light scattering and related reflectance relationship. During storage, if droplet size increases and droplet number decreases, it indicates that the coalescence of oil globules has been started and instability in emulsion is dictated. Effect of agitation. To determine the effect of agitation, the emulsion is subjected to shaking by reciprocating shaker. The emulsion is placed in reciprocating shaker, the frequency is 60 cycles per minute and time duration is 48 hours. Reading are taken for two temperatures that is 25 degrees Celsius and 45 degrees Celsius. After 48 hour process, check for the phase separation or coalescence in the emulsion. After the process, take sample from the upper part middle part and lower part of the emulsion and analyze for the oil and water content in the sample. In case of oil and water emulsion, if upper portion may contain high amount oil, it indicates phase separation. Effect of centrifugation. Emulsion is subjected to centrifugal force of about 2000 to 3000 rpm for about 5 hour. After centrifugation, check for the upper, middle and lower portion for the oil and water content as we have done earlier. Effect of aging. The emulsion is stored at 50 degrees Celsius for 3 months. 4 degrees Celsius for 1 month, 40 plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius and 75 plus or minus 5% relative humidity for 6 months. That is accelerated stability studies. 30 plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius and 65 plus or minus 5% relative humidity for 6 months. That is intermediate stability study. 25 plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius and 60 plus or minus 5% relative humidity for 12 months. That is real-time stability study, or any other suitable temperature and humidity conditions specified by the regulatory authority. At intermediate time, check for the pH, viscosity, assay of the active pharmaceutical ingredient, visual observation for the creaming or phase separation, color changes, droplet size to ensure that the emulsion has good physical stability throughout the shelf life. Viscosity Determination Immediately after the preparation of water in oil emulsion, the viscosity decreases slightly and it is constant throughout the shelf life. In the case of oil and water emulsion, initially after some time, viscosity increases, and then it is stable throughout the shelf life of the product. During shelf life, the viscosity should be constant. If there is a change in viscosity during shelf life, then it indicates coalescence or phase separation. Any other pharmacopoeial requirements of liquid dosage form must be met. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos.